Taurus. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for your next unexpected surprise. Feel free to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I read over there as well. The links are down below as well as a link to my second channel, Indigo Garden. There's also information on my tarot course for any of you who may be interested. Let's go ahead and start here for you, Taurus, and see what we get. What are we doing for Taurus for their next unexpected surprise? Taurus, next unexpected surprise. Judgment, okay, judgment. Scorpio and Aries energy here with judgment. Um, the High Priestess, two majors, my goodness, okay. Uh, Pisces energy here with the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups, more Pisces energy. You guys have a lot of water here. Um, so let's look, let's look. What's going on with Judgment? I almost feel like you or someone you're connected to has tried to bury something and one of the surprises coming up could be that that's coming out because Judgment can be something being resurrected. The High Priestess can be secrets, okay? Uh, we'll figure out what that is. Let's go on with Judgment, please. For Taurus. Let's go on with Judgment for Taurus. The Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. You guys have so many majors out here already. Four of Swords. Some of you could have Jupiter and Libra, but you don't have to. Yeah, this is definitely something that's been on pause. Uh, like this, this is something that maybe you've been asleep to for a while, or it's just not been active for a while. It's starting to move again. It's starting to grow again. Your Taurus. This could have something to do with a mother, female, or feminine energy. Like there's a process for some of you that's closing out. Um, but I do feel that there's a lot of growth taking place for you with the Wheel of Fortune showing up. Some of you, you have found your calling. You have activated something that was asleep within you. That's why Judgment is here for some of you. Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and you've isolated. You've isolated, okay? Um, I almost feel like you guys could have buried what it was that you have been gifted with. With that uh, Four of Swords energy, I do feel the energy of something that was buried. And we do have Judgment, so yeah, I think that's coming back up. And that Four of Pentacles and uh, the Hangman, you're finally surrendering to that gift here. Uh, that Pentacle resting on top of his head can symbolize somebody who is not really seeing their full value. But you're starting to invest in that, and I I think that's why the Empress is here. You guys are having a lot of growth. The Wheel of Fortune, things are, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, it's turning in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is a Jupiter card. It's a card of luck. And we have the High Priestess. So let's look at the High Priestess. So yeah, I think that good things are coming for you guys here. Absolutely. What's going on with the High Priestess? For Taurus, please. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. But there's something else here that's kind of slow moving. Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer. Being dissatisfied with something, Seven of Wands, guarded, defensive, protective. This could be a person in your life. Six of Swords, yep. It is a person in your life. This is someone you've moved on from behind the scenes. I do feel that there's somebody here who is just completely unsatisfied with the way that things have gone. Queen of Cups, we've got Cancer here, we've got Virgo, we've got Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Five of Wands. Yeah, I almost feel like there's this person who's wanting to come forward here, but they're not doing that. They're not really saying anything. Um, I feel like they're in a little bit of an aggressive space because you're having so much growth with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're slowly trying to get something together here to say to you or give to you. Something like that is going on. They're afraid you won't accept that with the Four of Cups energy. They're afraid you won't accept that. They're also a little bit bitter, unsatisfied. Uh, behind the scenes, that's how they're feeling. You have the Seven of Wands here. They're trying to close their heart off to you because you have moved on. But Queen of Cups energy, I feel like they're having a hard time doing that. They're having a hard time getting you out of their head. You can see that open shell up there on the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Um, and I do think that they want to fight with you, but I feel that instead they may apologize. <laughs> they may end up sending you an apology here. This is definitely an ex of yours. What's going on here for Taurus with this Knight of Cups? 
This is somebody who's really fiery though. Like they're really competitive. Um, what's going on with the Knight of Cups? But it's like you weren't even really competing with them. You were just trying to move forward. Yeah, you have the tower. Yeah. They feel like you're destroying their victory. You're destroying their win here, Taurus. You're completely ending them with this success that you're having with whatever that is. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. And it's also not even... Some of you, you could have moved on in love, I suppose. But I mainly feel as if you are just taking care of yourself, okay? Like you're really taking care of yourself, getting your life in order, getting things together. You've not been completely torn apart by this. And they're just dumbfounded by that fact. The magician. Yeah, you're manifesting more than ever. You're actually doing better than you were. So I think that's why this apology is coming in. It's like they're only sorry because they're not winning. They're not winning the breakup here. You do have the moon, Pisces, and Cancer energy. And because you're staying hidden, it's almost as if um, in order to even find and know about half of this success, they have to dig to do this here. Yeah, you have the world. I think you've completely shut them out here. That's a Saturn card. Saturn is uh, the planet of boundaries, restrictions, <laughs> um, things of that nature. So I think you've completely shut them out and they're having to watch from the sidelines. Four of Wands. Some of you, you've moved. Like you've moved, you have a new home here or you have a new apartment or something of that nature. You've completely closed your heart off to this person, but I do feel that they're going to be bringing in some kind of a some kind of an apology because they're seeing some kind of success that you are having. And they're not satisfied with the fact that you're having this success um, because to them it feels like they've had some kind of loss. You know, it's like they wanted to have some kind of victory over you. And since they can't have that, since they can't beat you, they're trying to join you. That's what it is, okay? Um, I could have summed that up a lot quicker, huh? But Taurus, that's what I'm seeing here for you. I see a lot of success coming, a lot of success. Um, you all are more than welcome to watch out for your other signs. Actually, I'll only have Aries, Taurus, you guys, and Aquarius up today. But you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Those links are down below. Also a link to my Patreon page and a link to my other channel, okay? Uh, you can also check out the information on my tarot course. But Taurus, if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.